Hello everyone, and welcome to a franchise mode, a Draft the Glory franchise mode to be exact. I had to try to keep things fun here if I'm going to be doing another full franchise mode series in NHL 24, which, uh, well, we're not going to get into a whole diatribe about what happened to this game when it looked so promising. It did look so promising, didn't it? Oh boy. Okay. So, I can't show you uniforms from here. So that's cool. Um, but, I was smart this time. And I didn't, because yesterday I tried to do the expansion draft and create the team from there. And then, like, some crash happened. <laughs> and I lost everything. So this time, oh boy. The, oh my god. Imagine if I hit delete right there. Imagine if I hit delete right there. So I'm going to show you guys uniforms. You won't have to wait till like episode two or three for me to do it. Here we go. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it because I spent a lot of time yesterday. It's the same sort of thing. I don't know. Colors may look different on your screen. For some reason, uh, with this new capture card, on my Xbox, it displays differently on my TV. So I actually have to change the setting and it probably isn't all the right. I know it isn't all the right colors, because when I plug it in normal HDMI... Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so, I don't know. It's I. Right. It's, it's I. Right. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, the alternates suck, but who need? No one needs an alternate, man. I, I actually dig the home jerseys. Those, those are, those are my faves. Everything else is whatever. But hey, we got one good jersey. That's all you need. That's actually all you need. If you're Vegas, you have zero good jerseys. Just kidding. Just kidding. Their away jersey is actually cool. Everything else sucks. All right. So that's where we are. The Portland Paladins. Port. I don't know. I like alliteration, man. Just make sure I didn't... It doesn't matter if I change anything. All righty. So, back at it. I like how there's no editing here. I'm just treating it almost as a stream. Um... <laughs> So how we're going to do this, well, I'm going to do the expansion draft in this one, and then that normal draft. We'll do all the all that stuff, but how the, uh, how the format's going to go for this series is that uh, we're going to do an entire year of sim with the draft, and then all the off-season stuff I'll probably like do on my own, because it's boring, and it's just you know getting trash guys and letting go of other guys, and then... We'll start the new, then the next video will be the new season and the draft. So, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's how we're going to do it here. So this first video is obviously going to be the expansion draft and that BS. And then I'll do all the boring offseason stuff on my own, including getting a scouting team. So that's what we'll be doing here. Wow, we got pushed back to five. Detroit and Montreal jump up. Why didn't Chicago... Wow, Chicago getting pushed back? That's completely unrealistic. They should have jumped up to number one. Okay, let's let's choose a bunch of trash tier players. We'll do the fun stuff. Oh, God, don't crash. Yes. Yeah, God. Why does this show this every time? All right. Anaheim. I'm going to try to avoid picking guys who I shouldn't be able to pick. Because the game doesn't know better. Oh god, stay luck. I think we could find worse goalies, maybe. Um, I'm going to go with Carrick. Because even though he's not technically the worst, those other two guys seem too young to me. Hello. <laughs> it's just immediate. Just take him immediately. He's absolute dog water. Curtis Hall. Bottom six at 23. Even if he's not allowed to go, he's absolutely worthless. And then we have a centerman. Now, I do need to get goalies. I am going to periodically check. 72 is... Yeah, that's pretty low. I'm going to throw him in there. I doubt we find much lower than that in the expansion. All right. We can pretty much fly by this as well. Obviously. All right, we'll get this guy. And I do have that setting on to uh, add the extra year. Holy, oh, he's 19. 
Eight two. What the? See, none of these guys should be. None. Lit legitimately, none of the dude. EA, are you fucking? Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Why is that guy exposed? Oh my god. Anyway, um, I'm gonna just try to not screw them over, even though they deserve it. Seriously, look at this. Can't get any, like, they're all... <laughs> oh god, it's so bad. Oh, yay. Keaton Middleton. Let's go. The other Middleton. Oh, yeah, it might actually be a little bit tough to get some of these goalies. We'll see. I don't even know what handedness I'm getting for these defensemen. It ultimately doesn't matter. And I did not allow Seattle to exempt themselves from the draft because it's easier to get the extra player here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean then rather than having to go... And it doesn't matter. I'm taking the literal dog crap guy off their roster. So that'll make it... Well, at least we'll have 33 dudes. I don't have a single left winger. Let's, let's grab him. Oh, grinder. That was the best pick ever. Malone! <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, god damn it. It's Rodrigue. <sighs> I do have to get some goaltenders. 77, man. That might be what we have to kind of go with. I don't want to grab Rodrigue because he. I think he's too young, technically. Anyway, we'll grab like a 7th defenseman already. Someone give me a goalie. Spencer Knight's exposed. Even though he shouldn't be allowed. Yeah, you know. Man, give me some more left wingers, huh? What is this? We can't find left handed shots? Oh my god. No, apparently we can't, actually. By the way, that since that name reminded me of it, welcome back. Cody Hodgson, not to the NHL yet, but AHL PTO, man. Good for him. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I'm going to grab McIntyre, 76. I'll put him tentatively in. I was hoping to find worse, but I doubt I will. Hey, and he's 20. I'm just going to grab Pizzetta. No, he's way too good, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, because he actually plays for the Habs. He's not great, but he plays. Could grab Grossnick as well. That would give us the three goalies, but let's hold off on that. Let's see what, the, what else they get. I'm legit praying for left wingers. But we're going to have 10 million centermen. Another grinder, though. We're going to have a whole team of grinders. Hey! Oh, he's 20. Yeah, all right. Just put him in there. Another grind. Dude, our legit, so much of our team is going to be grinders. It's going to be great. Oh, here's all the grinders. Or the uh, left wingers. Okay, apparently they're just waiting in the back half. I would have exposed Fox above Miller, but okay. Alright, let's look for a goalie here. Here we don't go because he is 21. Now, fringe starter, you can make the argument, but I like where his overall is. He could just be an NHLer, so I'm not going to take him. Now I need right wingers. Now they're all the left wingers. Um, he's not going to make it, so I'll take him. He's trashed here enough. <laughs> take Boko and Mama off their hands. Grinder, huh? Not okay. I was going to say enforcer, but all right. Now I need right wingers. Now we're not going to... Oh, there we go. Oh, that's Cam Atkinson. No, legit. Nah, now we're not going to find the, the wingers that we need. Um, Hey, let me help you out, Philly. <laughs> that's a horrible fucking con... What? Oh, my God. That's such a horrible contract. Good God. Hey, grab him. Getting some more wingers now. San Jose. I know you got some great stuff. Really, a right winger? He's... A, oh, whatever. Let's grab Todd. Man, looks like he's killed a couple people in his lifetime. 
Now we can kind of go with anything. Yeah. I have the three goalies that I need. We can kind of... Yeah, I can just go with anything, right? Unless I have to hit minimums for the forward positions, but I don't think so. If I do, well, I'm very close to it anyway. This guy, okay. I am I can reason with, I can take this guy because he's legit not going to make the NHL. Even though he shouldn't be in here. He's like legitimately not making the NHL, right? Yeah. If he was like a top nine, I'd leave him just because there is a slight chance, but he's not getting close. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of tough. I guess it could be Muzzin since he's basically dead anyway. I was actually trying to be nice. I'm like, mm, can I actually help them stop being terrible with their own cap situation? Okay, well, I hit the minimums for everything, so I don't even know if those are true minimums. <laughs> but we're here. Jesus! That's the state of the Vegas prospect pool, I guess, or <laughs> AHL, whatever you want to say. Can I get like a, oh, that, that, there you go. You know what? Let's grab Hunter Shepard. He's absolute trashed here. So now we'll have four goalies. We don't have to get one of those. And we can get anyone from Winnipeg. Not you, Brendan Dillon. Sorry. Hey, Sharks legend, Jeff Fiel. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Did I skip? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, no, I, I was able to take someone. I, yeah, don't, don't, don't mind me. Okay, so, boom. I like how, yeah. So we actually get 32 people, not 33, as I believe I said earlier, because I was counting my own team like an idiot. But there we go. There's the starter. There's your starter pack. <laughs> All right. It's going to be absolutely awful. What, what? I... Is this, is, what is this? Okay, it's the interview. Thank goodness. All right, well, we're not going to get, because we got pushed back to five. We're not going to get an elite. But we can hopefully get a top six, unless someone is smart and doesn't take this guy. <laughs> hey, he at least has two-year ETA. Um, There's really no point in interviewing, because I don't, you can't really find steals here. This guy might be, but we can't get him. I'll pin a couple of the lows, and that's really all I'm going to do. Because they... Maybe. But I highly... I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not going to bother interviewing. Because it doesn't matter. It's a fake draft. Alright, let's do the next... Oh, right, right. Yeah, it's glitched. And you have to actually advance day from this point. It's starting to come back to me. It's starting to come back. How to do all of the workarounds for everything broken about franchise mode. It's starting to come back. All right. Now we can get into it. And this is how every draft is going to go. We're going to have our seven picks and that's it. It was five, right? Yeah, okay. So let's see. Maybe, and may, maybe they're stupid with the elites. You never know. 77, medium elite. Damn it. No, they're not going to be. Anaheim's not stupid. There they go. All right, please pick the high six. Oh, he went ahead and got the medium nine. Nah. <laughs> oh, Columbus. Oh, Columbus. All right, so we can at least get a top six guy. And I think I will. I'm not going to get a high top six defenseman. That's, that's a terrible idea. Actually, what's his ETA? Yeah, that's that's horrible. Yeah, we'll grab M Emilio Muckle. The Muck Muck. Goal scoring. He's a goal scoring power forward. You never know. First draft pick, which is fake. Fake. All right, 68 overall. And our next pick is at 36. And again, we can't trade any of these, obviously, as it is a draft. Oh, that would have been nice. Getting ourselves a starting goaltender. So if there was another, like, fake goal here, I'm going to... I don't know if this guy's fake or not. I'm just going to go for it. Fuck it. I just want to see. 
<laughs> yeah, you. Oh, we got the pick 69, though. Nice. I don't think I'm going to find anything cool. Jeez. No, there are a bunch of. <laughs> I'm angry. Legitimately angry at that. Well, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a medium elite goaltender appear in this stupid draft. Are you kidding me? There's even a freaking starter here. And then we saw where Hevelid went. Uh, pisses me off. That actually pisses me off. Hi. You're real. That sucks. You're going to be... You're going to have... Uh... The trick is to find someone who's not real, but at this stage, you kind of—it's—it's it's all going to be real castoffs, essentially. Ricardo Taves, actually, that's a made-up fucking name. Ricardo Taves. There's no way that guy's real. Well, he's not good anyway. <laughs> fucking Ricardo Taves. Ah. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. No. I don't think any of them are close to being fun. This guy's at least... Okay, we can keep an eye on him. I don't know, this guy could be fringe. Five-year ETA, though. Is this guy better ETA for some reason? No. All right. Damn. Logan Bogosian. Hey, you know what? A low four. In this draft, not half bad, considering we're in AHL territory. I'm just, I'm, I'm le legitimately just going for names that seem made up. Because <laughs> those are going to be the best type of players in this draft. Andre Yemelin. Yeah. Ah, medium seven. Okay, I do have to get that one guy. I forget where he's at. Who was it? It was a goalie, right? Ah, shit. I thought he was at 200-something. This guy, right? Yeah, Jimmy Hainsey. I was going to, like, take a wild chance on him. Maybe he could... Yeah, so 228. Get an American goaltender. 17. Kind of makes the most sense. Good character. Um, this act, what? This is, this is tripping me out because that name I don't think is in the game. And I'd expect it actually to spell 2K. So the fact that it's only spelled with 1K makes it actually seem like it's a real dude. Especially because of Mika or Mika instead of Mika. Huh. I think that's real. That seems really real. But I, I was going to go right for the fin. Let's try this guy. Another 7D. I swear, if that fin goes and he's cool, I'll be pissed. No, he's the same. <laughs> All right. This pick will grab uh, that goalie or whatever. And I'm not, I haven't gone back and checked because there's not going to be steals around this area. All right, let's grab Hainsey. He's not going to be anything good, but we'll just see. Hey, he's at, least a, he's at least a fringe starter, so. We'll see. We will have to see. So, uh, we got a top six. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so normally I'll do all this crap. Uh, yeah, pretty much all this crap off screen. Um, I will sign everyone that I freaking drafted because yeah I don't yeah, two, they some they could be two years too again. I'm not gonna be too anal about them having To be like kicked off the team so, uh, You know some of the guys I uh, drafted at multi-year, you know All right, so they should all sign, right? 
Watch one of them reject. Okay, no, they're good. So we will have to get some free agents as well. And I'll, this, this will be a good chance for you guys to see what I'm going to be doing off camera. And it's it's basic. It's... Hey, Shane Pinto. <laughs> hey, kids. It's Shane Pinto. Applause. So basically, there you go. There's one. Look at... Oh, my God. There's going to be so much of this. I'm, I'm remembering some of these names from, like... Uh, well, we're going to have to spend some money, too. So I don't know why I went to 16.5, but there you go. Yeah, I have 62 mil of cap space. So they have to be of a certain age. Positionally, it doesn't matter. I'm best rostering. So that'll be 32 mil. Need like one more 16 mil to at least hit the cap floor as I hiccup uncontrollably. Because I'm recording, I turn on the... I don't think I... I don't even know if I hiccup normally. But the second I hit the record button. So 32. That's 48. We should be at cap floor. Eh. I'm like 14 mil below still. You never know. We'll sign a few guys to like reasonable deals. There you go. Vaughn in as well. Why not? So, I was at, what, 14 mil below? I just did a 4. I'm 10 mil below. I should be at floor, especially after this. So, there you go. And then, I don't even know how many guys that is. I'm at 32. I did three 16s, and then a couple more of those, right? So, math says I still need a few more guys. And I might just keep very, very minimum, so I won't have to deal with the injuries, too. There we go. Yeah, so this is it. This is this is what I'll be doing off camera. So just so you guys have an idea of what's going on. And uh, no no player type restriction or player, you know, you know what I mean? Restrictions of any sort. Unless you guys want to see that, in which case, let me know in the comments if you want to see me just grab a certain type of player or players from an area. But I already kind of, I don't know. I did. I, I, I like the theme when I'm doing that. Uh, I'll grab like one more. I think I have enough. So, like, as we know, we did the Iceland Nordic Ravens that one time and only picked Nordic guys. It was slightly different, too. It was a draft dynasty, not a draft the glory. This is actually a bare bones, just draft the glory. Where it's just all basic. And speaking of which, I should turn off trade offers. Because we won't be doing any of that. I'll do that in a sec. Should be able to get all these guys. I'll laugh if any of them reject. I have 44. Oh my god, I signed too many. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We'll have enough for our NHL and AHL. And that's... Oh yeah, I'll just have to sim up. I'll do all the scouts and stuff off camera, obviously. I was like, where? when do I get to do those? Yeah, I have to, I have to actually wait. Until the starting point of a normal franchise mode. And because they actually treat this as a year too, they don't. And I've been pitching this, especially for Bia Pro to EA. I'm like, hey, why don't you do a phased system? And with those of you guys who don't know what phasing is, if you've played, there's a lot of different games to do it. But if you've, all right, I'll have a game I've been playing a lot. If you've played like World of Warcraft at any point. You'll like, there's zones that have different phases to them. So you'll like go there for part of a story. The zone will look different. And then you have to complete this quest line to finish it and then get to the actual zone where like other players will be and whatnot, or at least other players who are done with that part of the phasing and whatnot. So it's like, why don't you do that for like a franchise mode? Why don't you create a phasing system? And for be a pro so that you create a phasing system so that you don't actually you know, end up with, in the Be A Pro draft, uh, players going to the wrong team if you want, you know, to have your guy actually get drafted. You know, experience what it'll be like to, like, you know, be drafted, be part, you know, of that. And I, I guess I get it. But then you can't use custom rosters either because of this whole, like, kind of phasing system, right? And because it has to get reset to this point. So, 
or not no phasing system, I should have said, because it has to get set back to that point. So why don't you create the first part of this mode as like a phase where it's fake? And then you don't have to even add a year of the contract and you complete this. And then it basically just carries over those rosters and plants them onto the new one. Like it's fucking easy. All you have to do, it seems to me it is, I don't know, maybe to implement it's harder, but it seems to me all you really need is like the two, two, two iterations with two different sets of rosters. And then you just fucking control C, control V over the damn rosters into the new, like everything into the new phasing and then just start here. You don't have to go through all the off-season stuff, right? You just start here, the next logic, and it just, like, transitions to a quote-unquote normal franchise mode. And then you don't need all the other bells and whistles, right? I could be oversimplifying this, and I probably am, but I, you know, suggested this particularly for Be a Pro. And I also said, or, I also said to them, since we don't see other players who are drafted, we just have to look at the, well, you can't look at the rosters after. You have to, like, go to stat, Ugh. Don't even get me started on how fucked Be a Pro is. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna get myself angry and not want to play this, aren't I? Um, and I lost my train of thought. So yeah, like it's it's just because I, I even suggest just make the draft fake, just make the thing scroll, make your guy get picked, make it a a, a, a fucking algorithm for projected on where you are and then how you know wh where the projections said you was gonna be and then based on the interviews you had and just make one of those teams pick you and then none of the other picks are actually there. Because you don't get to see the draft. You don't see the players. You can't analyze the draft afterwards. So what's the point of making it a new draft and fucking up the entire league for people who actually appreciate immersion and realism by completely screwing it up? And the only way to get Bedard on the Blackhawks is to just choose your team and start on an NHL team. Which, by the way, you can't really get sent down either. It's very hard to, at least. I don't know. Someone told me they got they were able. To, I've tried so many times to get sent down to the HL. I created an enforcer and did nothing but take penalties and fight, and I never got sent down. It was nuts. I just kept getting. I, I got on the first line with like one point in the season because apparently I was just doing my job. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So, hey, you got a little EA rant in here too. You guys got a lot in in this video. Um. Hey, where else am I going to rant about it? It's better. You know, it feels good. It's better than stewing about it and then just not wanting to play this game. So I know might off put some people as I bitch about the game while I play it. But you know what? This has been building for a while. And you know what? It's affected some of my livelihood. <laughs> I'm not. It's, it's no, it's no secret. I got ads on the video. I, you know, a, a chunk of my income comes from YouTube. <laughs> oh, man. And me being let down by this fucking game and having zero motivation to make content when there is a time when I could not get enough of it. It's, it's, it sucks. It does not gonna lie, but I'm trying, trying my best, trying to get back into it. We're going to do this draft to glory. We got some other cool stuff, hopefully on the horizon, um, including a collaboration of sorts in a way, uh, we found a little workaround for NHL 24. I'll give you a little hint. We found a fun workaround that should be, it makes for an interesting series. So that is it for this one, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Remember to leave that like button. And as I said, the format will be, we'll do the whole season sim and the draft. And we'll just do that. Every single video will be an entire year and an entire draft. So we're going to speed through this season. I am going to leave for Finland again mid-February. So if you do the count and I stick to uploading every day, which I should be able to. Um, at least most every day, then we'll be able to get at least like 20 plus seasons done easily. And hopefully we can win a cup within that time, right? We shall see. I'll see you guys in the next one.